Today we're going to be talking about the FN502 and some of the upgrades and updates I've done to it. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are with the FN502. Now I've done some things to this gun that I've already tried and there's some additions I've done to it that I haven't tried yet because it's like 29 degrees out and I haven't got a chance to get to the range yet and I'm slightly under the weather. But the first thing I did to do to this, as you'll notice, is I put the red dot on it. And we're gonna go over everything individually, but first off, I did the red dot and then I did some internals on this. So first thing we wanna do is we're gonna make safe, we're gonna clear the gun, mags out of it, nothing in it. Chamber's empty, nothing there, so the gun's clear. All right, so the first thing I wanna go over is the red dot. So before we get into that, what kind of red dot is it? Well, this is a Voda 2 PMD 504. And the reason why I went with this is number one, this is a just a range gun, it's a 22 long rifle. I didn't feel the need to buy an expensive optic for it. But with that said, Voda 2, I have their optics on some of my other rifles. And I'll tell you what guys, do not sleep on this company. They didn't send me this. The last one that for my rifle, they did send me but no money was exchanged hands. I always give you guys an honest review. This one I bought with my own money. This is $124 on Amazon, which I'm not affiliated with, by the way, so let's get that out of the way. So if you guys wanna check it out, go ahead. But this company makes quality stuff. And let's not forget, Holosyn is made in China. Most of this stuff is probably made in the same factory, but this Voda 2 brand is very, very good. I have a, a red dot and a magnifier on my rifle, and I've been running the hell out of that, and that thing is, I'll tell you what, that's better than some of my expensive optics I got. So this is the Voda 2 PMD 504, and I'm going to roll in some footage of what the reticle looks like because I like to have the choice. I like to have the circle, the dot, or the circle and the dot, but personally, I like running just the circle. It's easier for my old eyes to pick up. So open this up. This thing comes with a user manual, screws. You get a 1913 setup, Picatinny rail setup here, and... Uh, also come with a spare battery, which I did use for another optic, cleaning cloth. Comes with a, a cover for the optic, which is nice. I just bought a Holosyn, and it, that didn't even come with a cover. I had to buy it. So this is a very, very nice dot for the money, and you guys are going to see that. But let's take a look at this red dot. Again, the cover. The only thing I had to do with the cover is this co-witnesses with the uh, sights in the back, and the cover wouldn't quite fit on there. So all I had to do was just cut this back part out and now the cover fits good reason why covers are key for your uh, red dots and optics is when you go to clean the gun you don't want to get that stuff all over your lens at least i don't so the cover is a nice touch and voda 2 includes that cover so taking a closer look at it it's all aircraft aluminum it's got the orange coating on the lens which i'll roll in some footage of that so you can get a better look at it it's hard to pick up on camera this thing has a bunch of brightness settings you can see this thing in the broadest of daylight I can try and turn it on quick. I don't know if you guys will see it. Probably won't pick it up on camera. But just fantastic, the brightness on it and the clarity of the optic on here. So this was the first thing I did to this gun is put this optic on it. Uh, FN supplied all the plates. Uh, I had the plate right in the package, so it was, it was plug and play after that. Just mount it up on here. Also, I like on this is that the battery is on the side. I don't need anything special. This thing comes with the tools to mount it to do your windage and elevation and to change the battery. It's side mount, so you don't have to disconnect it. I love that. I like the way this, this hood is over the front of the optic, so it blocks the sun or any glare on it, so you won't pick up any glare if you were pointing this at something that you want to hit. So that's nice, too. It's got a really nice shroud on it. Just a great, great red dot from Voda 2. This is really impressive, guys. I really wish I could put this on my P365, but this isn't a micro red dot. This is full size, uh, RMR style. So... I uh, ended up ordering a Holosun for my SIG B365. But this optic is just fantastic. So that was the first thing I did to it. I put this red dot. Uh, I have a bore sighter, laser bore sighted it, brought it to the range, made a few tweaks to it, and it things I, I'm hitting plates at 30 yards with no effort in it. I picked that 62 MOA dot up very nicely, and it's just great. So let's. what else did I do? To it? Let's talk about it. Take a look up here on the front. You're going to see a stainless steel guide rod. So what I did internally on this gun... This gun comes with a plastic guide rod and spring. It's captured. And I went to Nick Taylor. You can go to his website here, uh, nicktaylor00.com, and order any parts for a lot of different guns. I ended up picking up this, and I also picked up a SIG P250 spring, which is in this bag here. Originally, what happened when I ordered this, they sent me the wrong spring. They sent me another stock spring. 
So I called them, reached out to them. They said, no problem. They ended up shipping out another stainless guide rod and the right spring. So he said, keep the spring. Just send me the, the spare guide rod I sent you back. So no big deal. So upgrades inside is going to be the SIG P250 spring is much heavier than the stock spring. The stock spring on this, we'll take it apart and I'll show you guys the difference. You can see how big the coils are on this. It's a night and day difference. This thing actually racks now. feels like a nine millimeter when you rack it. It's got a very good pull. And when you let it go, it drives home with authority. The stock spring, after it got, you know, after a few hundred rounds and you put the mag in and go hit the uh, slide release, it would... It would stop like right here and wouldn't go fully into battery because the spring was just so weak on the stock one. And I went on the forums. A lot of people were putting the SIG P250 springs in these FN 502s. So I decided to order one. It's cheap enough. It was like six bucks for the spring. I think the guide rod, stainless guide rod was like nine bucks. So it was a no brainer. Now this thing, if you put it on the slide stop and you put a mag in and send it home, it, it hits home with authority. With the stock spring, it was, it was complete crap. I mean, that's the only knock I had on this whole gun out of all the, all the rounds that I've put through it was that stock spring was garbage. But I did not get a chance to try this yet because, like I said, it's very cold out and I haven't got a chance to get out to the range yet. But red dot's all set. That's tried and true. Excellent red, uh, red dot from Voda 2. Let's check out the internals. So we're just going to take this down quick. Slide this off. Now you'll see here you got... Now you got to be careful because this is not captured. So you want to hold on to it take it out now we got this stainless guide rod which got a lot more weight to it which i like it adds even more this gun is uh it, the top is aluminum the slides all aluminum it's got metal internals in the polymer frame it's got great weight to it but this just adds a little more and for the price it was a no-brainer so i went with this and the sig p250 spring now let me show you in comparison to the stock spring you guys will see the difference it's a it's a major difference in, in how this thing racks and i'm hoping now it's going to run even better. I mean, I really didn't have any problems feeding with this thing at all. The only thing is it would fail to go into battery sometimes after it got gummed up a little bit just because the spring was so light. Now, it may be hard to pick this up on camera, but if you could see these together, much more coils, much tighter spring. This is a very loose, flimsy spring, and this spring is just much more robust and tighter. So swapped out this stock FN spring, got rid of that, ordered the P250 spring, now it's got a flat end on one side, and then you got your cut coil on this side. You can put it in either way, but I choose to run the cut side against the back of the of the uh, guide rod. And then what you do is just put it in like you normally would. Compress it down as best you can to get it in there. Wiggle it around, and then it'll fit in there. So that, now that's on there. So slide this back on. Put it to the slide stop. And there you go, it's back in action. So now, again, you can just hear that. It just, it comes forward with authority now. Just springs forward so much better than that stock spring. So big upgrade there with that with that spring and guide rod package. So if you're looking to upgrade your FN502, I, I would highly suggest it. Again, you know, that may sound kind of contradictory, so you know, I haven't tried it yet, but I just know by the way that that's working, that this is going to be a home run. So I will get to the range, try this. I will get back with another update on this. We'll do like a 2,500 round update on the FN502 here. And I'll give you guys my feedback on this setup with the guide rod and spring. But yeah, that's just a quick look at the few things that I've done to the gun so far. Red dot, guide rod and spring. I mean, I got a couple extra mags. Other than that, the gun's perfect. I love it. Trigger's great on it. All the controls are fantastic. I mean, it's just a great gun. I got, a, like I said, over 2,000 rounds for this already. I got to be close to 2,500 easily. So again, I'm going to run another 500 through it next time I go out, try this out, get a good report on it, and then we'll do another update on it. So I'll let you guys know how it turns out. All right, we're going to hop out for some final thoughts. All right, so that was a look at the FN502 and the upgrades I've done to it. If you guys like this kind of content and want to see more of it and help support the channel, I'm going to leave a QR code here on the screen for you guys to buy me a cup of coffee. If you guys choose not to, that's fine. There's a free way to do it by hitting that like, share, and subscribe, and dropping a comment down below. All right, that's going to wrap this video up, and we'll see you guys in the next one.